Well, hey everybody, it's Kepo Jones here with another episode of the wonderful World of Baseball Cards. I've been a little MIA lately, and I thought it was past overdue, past time to do a video of some recent uh, mail pickups that I've had. Uh, this is just stuff that has been trickling in over the past couple of weeks. It's kind of a wide and very weird and random assortment of stuff. And let's just get to it, and I hope you enjoy. Most of these cards uh, were picked up in uh, random late night, late, late night eBay auctions. Um, and just jumping in at the last minute, and I thought some of these were just really nice looking cards. And... Uh, just kind of nice little weird common additions to my collection. So the first card that I picked up is this 1951 Bowman Hal Jeffcoat. Um, I just thought this was a really nice looking card. I've always loved the 51 Bowman set. Um, whenever I see one uh, for just a really cheap price, even if it's a common player, um, I'm kind of like see one, play one. Um, so I grabbed this card, uh, it came in the mail, oh, I think maybe last week, and I just thought it was a great card with the pose and the mountains in the background and stuff, and uh, um, it's this aesthetically a very, very nice looking card. Um, so I just uh, thought I'd, I'd grab that one. Um, I don't really know why I got it, something just spoke to me, um, and so I got that. Uh, pretty sharp looking card. Another completely, these are all really all random, random cards. Um, I've been really kind of enamored with the 1954 Topps baseball set lately, ever since I did that uh, video on my childhood collection of cards. And I grabbed this uh, 1954 uh, Johnny Klipstein, uh, again, in just a random late night, late, late Sunday night eBay auction. It was ending, there were no bids. Um, I think the shipping was pretty cheap on it, and so I was just like, you know what, what the heck, I'm gonna grab it. I like grabbing these uh, 1950s Topps cards because um, there's only so many, and just cards like this, um, again, when you see them, you might as well just grab them. Um, common player, um, but there's just something about these 1950s Topps cards that are just little works of art. And uh, so, Johnny Klipstein. Now here's another totally random, you're gonna see a lot of random stuff here. Uh, 1956 Topps Dave Pope. Um, I got this primarily for the little action pose. I love him going up and grabbing the ball. Um, super cool little photo. Uh, Baltimore Orioles, uh, Dave Pope. I don't think I've ever seen this card. It's a quite a nice looking card. Um, and, and it's just when you find these like old raw cards for pretty cheap prices, you figure what the heck. Um, something again just kind of spoke to me on this one. So I just thought I'd grab it and it's just again a nice little addition. This is the way I kind of got cards when I was a kid. I just kind of get random stuff. I'm trying not to get too carried away, um, but when I see things that are in pretty good condition, like this card, I just figure, hey, why not? And um, just, again, a really nice looking card uh, that didn't cost me an arm and a leg. It really is like the cost of like a modern wax pack. And so I figure, what the heck, uh, why not grab it? Uh, here's one that uh, I missed the other day. Uh, this came in that lot of uh, uh, 1958 Topps cards. Um, this one was in a holder, came in a holder. Um, it's just the Louis Aparicio All-Star cards. I really love these 58 All-Star cards. These along with the 1960 All-Star cards from the top set are probably my favorites. Um, a lot of these All-Star cards were double prints and triple prints back in this set. So while they're high numbers, they're pretty abundant. Um, this Louie has definitely seen better days, um, but uh, I just thought it was a nice little card to add to the PC. A uh, good Hall of Famer um, and a pretty cool card. Again, I don't know why on this one particular night I was grabbing all these random 50s cards that were ending on eBay auctions. I was probably being a little impulsive 
Um, but I grabbed this 1959 Tex Clevenger. I don't know why I got it. I mean, it's off-centered and... I don't know. I guess I was feeling like a kid. Maybe it was my childlike wonder or something um, that made me get this card. But uh, 1959 Tex Clevenger. And, and there you got a guy there in the background. I'm not sure who that is. Who knows? It could be a Hall of Famer back there uh, winding up behind him. I actually just kind of noticed that as I'm looking at this card. It's pretty cool. Uh, the guy there in the background. I like that. Maybe that's why I got the card. Who knows? I don't do much football. This was a total random pickup. Uh, this was a 1961 Tops uh, Bobby Mitchell. A Hall of Famer Bobby Mitchell for the Cleveland Browns halfback. Uh, great, great card. Um, this one I just bought really just because of the condition. And I still feel like vintage football is highly undervalued compared to vintage baseball. And I think there's a lot less of it. Um, not really sure why there isn't more of a market on vintage football. But uh, this 1961 uh, Bobby Mitchell is cool. And I really like the, the 61 Tops football set. It's like, kind of like the uh, 58 uh, Tops baseball set. Um, so I grabbed this, uh, this Bobby Mitchell um, and, and I'm actually um, going to just kind of start grabbing some of this old vintage football because it's just dirt cheap. Um, and this is a really nice looking card. Um, I would never send it into PSA. I'm done with submitting to PSA. Um, like I've said in other videos, and no offense to anybody who does submit. And, and I'm really like think that it's great that people do. Um, but I'm just not one of those guys. Um, I've, I've done, had my experience with, with PSA and it's, it's left a sour taste in my mouth. So there's that uh, 1961 Topps Bobby Mitchell. Uh, and now we're getting into some modern stuff. Um, I got this uh, Steven Strasburg. I believe this is a 2013 Topps card. Uh, randomly again, this was an ending auction. It's an insert card, uh, styled actually after the 1950 or 1965 uh, football uh, set. And I just thought it was kind of unique. It was a nice little insert. And um, I just thought that, uh, I thought I'd grab it. Um, I don't know, just kind of liked it. It was kind of weird, it was random. I think it was like 50 cents. Um, so I was like, what the heck, I'm gonna get it. Uh, this one was one I just thought I'd grab, um, kind of, I guess, nothing too special, but it's, uh, I believe this is also 2013 Tops. This is a Garrett Cole rookie, uh, Tops Chrome. Um, Garrett Cole's turning into just quite a monster and a great pitcher. Um, so I just, and I like this card a lot. Uh, so I just thought I'd grab a Garrett Cole. Nothing, uh, nothing too wild there. Here's another just total random card. I like this one. This is just a random 2019 Topps card um, of uh, Orlando Arcia and Crystal, uh, Kristen Yelich. Um, great card, Milwaukee Menaces. I'm a big Brewers fan, and there's just something. I saw this card again. It was like, I don't know. I think I paid like 80 cents for it um, with free shipping. So I just saw it and I was like, oh, I like that card. It's a cool picture. I'm a huge Brewers fan. So I grabbed that one. This is kind of goofy. This was an impulse buy. Um, I don't do this stuff at all, but I saw it and I figured, what the heck. Uh, this is a Topps Now, uh, Jordan Alvarez. Um, and I think this might be his first like Topps Now card. Um, it's for three homers. Um, three homer game, um, 25 run outburst or something. Um, I don't know, just grabbed it. Um, just hanging on to it. I paid basically, I think these go for like 10 bucks and I think I paid that for it. Um, it was like an impulse buy to be honest with you, but, uh, Grabbed uh, grabbed this Jordan Alvarez for some reason. I thought it was kind of a cool card um, So yeah, I got that 
and uh, then I grab this uh, Mike Yastrzemski card. Uh, this is from the 2019 Tops update. Obviously, I'm a big fan of his uh, grandfather, Carl, and so I thought I would just grab his uh, 2019 Tops update card. Thought it was really cool. Um, it's got the 150 years of Major League Baseball logo on there. Um, and I have not had any luck finding any uh, blasters of, uh, or hanger boxes rather, of 2019 Tops update. Um, so to be honest, I'm, I'm like just grabbing like the couple of cards that I want from the set and I'm not going to waste my time with all the other stuff. Uh, the Vladdy and the Pete Alonzo, those cards are in the series too anyway. Um, so really, Yastrzemski and Hira are the two big rookies. So that's, uh, that's what I got. Um, and I thought I'd get this Yastrzemski with the uh, 150 MLB logo on it, so I like that one. And then, uh, hold on here, folks. I gotta, I gotta let the, uh, the little critter out here. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Gotta have some humanity and technical difficulties in here every now and then. This is my favorite card that I've gotten recently, in all honesty. Uh, this is the CC Sabathia 3000K card uh, from this year's Tops update, and this is the camo card. As you guys have seen in some of my previous videos, CC is like one of my absolute all time favorites. And I just love this card of him on the mound. It's super cool. And oh man, I just. I love this card, and this is numbered uh, 2 out of 25. I don't really do numbered cards, um, but with this one, I, these camo cards are pretty cool. And, you know, it's CC, and it's one going to be one of his last cards, and I just love that picture. Um, this is, again, like just a neat little like piece of art, I feel like. Um, with him on the mound and the crowd and the stadium and everything. It's just pretty iconic. Uh, going back, reversing, here's a couple of PSA cards that I picked up. I have no idea why I bought this. This was kind of a C1 play one. Uh, 1957 Tops Foster Castleman. Uh, I have no idea. Um, I don't know. I think I was just like clicking and bought this. Uh, it's one of those where it's like the cost of getting it graded. So I, I'm not really like out anything. Um, these sixes are super nice for PSA uh, for 57. So I'm like, okay with this card. It's totally like kind of weird. I'll probably sell this someday and my guess is I'll lose money on it. Um, but it's a nice card. Um, random. Totally random. Uh, Foster Castleman. A nice looking card, but just, I don't know. I, I, I don't, this is the kid in me again, just grabbing something um, for the sake of grabbing it in a late night eBay auction. And then, kind of on my series of my Hall of Famer last year cards, um, I'm doing it the good old fashioned way and I'm going off Baseball Collector Mike's original uh, list of uh, uh, the final regular issue card, not tops. Um, I like the variety. So, and I'm not a registry guy, so I'm going off that list. I got the 1984 Fleer, uh, Carl Yastrzemski. Uh, it's his final regular issue card. Super sharp, super cool. I uh, got this in a PSA 10. Uh, great addition to my collection. Of course, one of my favorite players. Um, love this uh, Yaz, uh, 1984 Yaz final card. Now this one is the goofiest of all. This is why we collect. Don't laugh. It is really ridiculous. But it's also like kind of cool. Mike Schmidt's final card. 
1990 Donruss, probably one of the worst sets of all time, but it's Mike Schmidt's final year card in a PSA 10. Um, I actually really freaking love it. Um, I, I love this card. Super cool. It's got the all-time greats on there. Uh, Mike, Michael Jack Schmidt's final card. Uh, did you guys know he was hit by lightning as a kid? Um, I read this book on him um, when I was probably in like fourth grade or something. And Mike Schmidt was hit by lightning as a kid and obviously survived. Michael Jack Schmidt, 1990 Donruss. Oh my gosh. Peak junk wax, but a PSA 10. I don't know how many of these are floating around out there. And this is the one I wanted for my Hall of Famer last card set. And this is true variety here. Uh, this will be the only 1990 Donruss card I ever own in a PSA. And it couldn't be of a better player. Uh, Michael Jack Schmidt. And then the last card is a non-sport. Giving a shout out to Dave Durango on this one. I bought into a break of these goofy rock icon cards. And I pulled the one card I was looking for. This is a 1991 Jerry Garcia. I guess this could be considered his rookie card. I'm a huge Grateful Dead fan. Always have been. Um, I used to follow them around. I saw like 40 shows back in the day. Um, as a 19 and 20 year old kid following them around the country. In my 1984 Oldsmobile Cutlass. Um, love this card. And this is one of my... I didn't even know this card existed. And Dave Durango was opening a box of these cards. And I said, hey, are there any Grateful Dead cards in here? And so I bought into a corner of a stack. And I got the Jerry. And I just... Uh, and this, that's the Jerry right there that I know and love. Um, that's my Jerry. So thanks everybody for watching. We're going to get the Yaz boys on here along with Jerry. This is uh, Kev Bo Jones here with uh, another episode of the Wonderful World of Baseball Cards. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. And uh, definitely keep collecting what you love. Signing out.